Okay, so I've already um, put a heat protectant through my hair and my hair's completely dry. I'm just giving it a quick brush and then I'm just going to get hair elastic and I'm going to section my hair from ear to ear. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to get this top section and tie it up so it's out of our way. Okay, so for this look, I'm going to be using the Remington um, Curling Wand Plus Straightener. So it's this kind of thing here. You can use it as a straightener. And then I'm just going to put it as a curling wand. You don't have to use this. You can use a curling wand or a straightener. But because I'm going to be using two kind of different curls, I'm going to be using both ones like this, plus ones made with a straightener. So, I'm just going to get it and I'm going to lock it so we've got our curling wand. And you can just grab any normal curling wand for this. It really depends on the kind of curls you want. And I'm just going to grab a section at the front of my hair, wrap it around, and I'm going to leave this for 7 seconds. And I've curled it away from my face, just so it frames my face at the front. And then you get this beautiful curl like that. So I'm going to go ahead and curl random bits like that. Okay, so I'm also going to be going between those kind of curls. And then I'm also going to use a straightener. And I'm going to make curls with a straightener just because they give two different kinds of curls and Catherine's, Katerina, her hair has kind of like different styles of curls in it so if you don't know how to curl your hair with a straightener I will link my video down below that teaches you how to do that so definitely check that out it'll be in the butt bar. I'm just going to go between straight and curled and normal curls and apart from the pieces around your face they like, don't have to be framing your face these can be in any direction you want you just kind of want them to look big and kind of unique So you can kind of see the difference in the curls done with a straightener. The ones with a straightener are just a little bit looser than the ones with the curling ones. However, if you don't have a straightener and you want to do it all with curling ones, you can do that. Just every now and again, get one of your tight curls and just pull it a little so bit. So it becomes a little bit looser, just so it kind of gives the same effect. Okay, so I've done the same thing on both sides, gone between straightening with the curling ones and straightening with the straightener part. And now I'm just going to spray this, which is kind of like a gel spray. And I'm just going to lightly mist them and I'll just hold it in place. I've also got extensions that I've kind of pre-curled kind of here. So they've got like big, beautiful curls. And I'm just going to put my extensions in now as well. Just because Catherine's hair always looks so wonderful and thick and just gorgeous. It's like amazing. I love her hair. Extensions is I've just curled them and then run my brush to them. Separate them and make them a bit more bigger. So they become like that. And I just loop them around my finger so you get a nice little curl. So I've got one three clip, one at the back. And I'm putting one two clip one on each side and you can already see the difference on this side where I've got the extensions in and on this side it just makes my hair look a lot fuller like hers looks but of course you don't have to put extensions in if you don't want to now I'm just going to take the top part of my hair out and we're going to do the same thing so I'm just going to go between curling with the curling ones and then go around with the straightener part and curl them as well. fringe I've just got the little sections I'm just putting them in the straightener part I'm lifting them up and then I'm going to turn the straightener around so I curl the ends away from my face just like that and that just gives you a bit of volume 
as well. And I'm just doing the same on this side, so lifting it up a little bit and then turning it away from my face, just like that. Okay, so this is all my hair curled right now. And I'm just going to get that gel spray once more and just go over it. And that spray really smells bad. Kind of smells like, um, you know, alcohol spray that you clean your brushes on and brush clean it. Kind of reminds me of that smell. So I'm not a big fan of that smell. And you can also go through them and just separate them if you want a little bit. Give them a slight brush and just, you know, make them so they're not little tiny sections of curls and just flip your hair. You can also flip your hair upside down and use hairspray and real spray it and then shake it up and then flip back up. But I've run out of hairspray so I can't do Guys, that. Do you use this tutorial and curl your hair like this? Please leave a comment down below telling me how it went. And who's your favourite character in Vampire Diaries? I love um, Bonnie. I just, she's so gorgeous. Like I could, You could stare at her all day in a non-creepy way. She's so beautiful. And I do like Elena and Catherine. So that is my Catherine inspired hair. And it's really pretty. It's just really big as well. It's really sexy hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And stay tuned because I will be having more tutorials soon. And I'll see you all then. Bye!